Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing um, how to set up Tomcat into Eclipse. To do that, first we need to download Tomcat. Search in Google search for download Apache Tomcat. The first website that uh, comes up, click on it and you will find different versions that you can download. 7, 6, 5.5. I have downloaded the recent version Tomcat 7 and it downloads in a zip format. Once it downloads, you need to extract it. After extraction, go to Eclipse. You see the server tab here. If you don't see the server tab, go to Window, Show View, and click Other. You have server option right in here. Or you can filter it, type the text that you want to filter in, select server and click OK. You'll see the server tab. Once you see the server tab, right click on the window say new server and here it gives us option of apache basic ibm jboss here we are configuring set up in give you are doing setup for apache stormcat 7 select 7 and here you need to click add okay that the name is apache tomcat 7 now you need to browse to the location where the zip file is in here and then click OK and then it would uh, display the installation directory. After that, uh, the default JRE is selected as Workbench Default JRE but you can select the option as JRE 7. If you want to see the installed JREs on your machine, you click on Install JREs and it will show you the populated one. And then click OK, JRE Finish and then click Next. You, I do not have any web project right in here, so it won't show me. Otherwise, I can select and click Add. Now, click Finish. After you click Finish, double click on the Tomcat. Here, you see all some default values are, say, uh, are uh, already filled in. General information, server, server options, port, timeouts, publishing. But we need to make one modification. In server locations, select use Tomcat installation. You can also use, use workspace, but I would select use Tomcat in installation because this takes control of the Tomcat installation. And then click save. Okay. Now click on the Tomcat and say start. Or you can also select the option start that is play button right in here. Okay. It says Tomcat 7 started. So to test it, click on web browser here and then say http colon localhost 8080. If you see this, it is obvious that you have your successfully set up Tomcat on your machine. Why did we say 8080? 8080 is the port number that it is um, for Tomcat. So we have selected http localhost 88 to test it let's just save let's just stop the tomcat we'll create a basic web application new dynamic web project you say testing tomcat and then we would let everything to be default but in here when we create dynamic web project here it will, in the target runtime, it will give us the options of what are the servers that we have set up in. I have, I did set up only for Apache Tomcat 7. So it gave me 7 options. Okay, and then dynamic web module version is 3. This is for Apache Tomcat 7 configuration. Click next. Let everything to be default. Okay, and then I want, I wanted to create a deployment descriptor for me and then click finish. Okay, now I have a testing Tomcat. Uh, project created. Now when I create this, my perspective opens in Java EE by default. For testing, I'll just create one dot one JSP file, new other JSP file, just so that uh, I can test that my project that I did set up with Tomcat is integrated together. Hello JSP, and then click finish. So this is my JSP page. I would just make some modifications. Hello. And then in the body, I would write header. Hello. Welcome to the 
काम कर चेता वीडियो एपिसोड रेड ओके एंड देन I select this play button to run hello JSP dot JSP, or I right click on here and say run as run on server. Once I run on server, it will give me an option. How do you want to select the server? Choose an existing one, or do you want to create? I would like to choose the existing one because I would like to test the Tomcat Seven that I did set up. So I would select the Tomcat Seven, and then click next. Uh, and then uh, when you click next, you'll see that the testing Tomcat web project is in the configured. Remember what I've told you when you did set up for the first time. You also get this option, but because we did not have any web projects, we were unable to configure. But now because we have a new web project, it is into configure uh, column, and then click finish. Once you click finish, Tomcat starts, and then you will see the web page. Hello, welcome to the Tomcat setup video tutorial. So this is how you set up Tomcat into Eclipse and create a basic um, dynamic web project to to see how do you integrate Tomcat server in for the web application. I hope this tutorial is helpful. Thank you.